Hello, this is Caitlin here, and I will teach you how to use the standard algorithm for division. And I will explain what I'm doing using the base 10 method, which is basically those blocks. So I'll set up our problem over here. The boxes are hundreds. So we got 300 more lines, or 20, or 10s, so we got 20, and then our little cubes are 1s, so 1, 320, 1. Now, um... I'll set up a problem. I bet you have already seen how we set up our problems, but um, this video is for people who do not know. So we will set up a problem 321 divided by 3. The base 10 method uses distributing, the distributing method, to distribute into three groups. But the standard algorithm uses the quantitative kind of rule or thing um, method, and you are saying how many of this number can go into this number, or this number, or this number. Okay. I will start on this side, and we will start with the hundreds. Now, this is kind of a rare occasion, but it can happen. But we have our three groups, and we have three hundreds. So that can tell us that this hundred goes here, this can go here, and this can go here. So now we have 100 in each. For this, on the other side, for the standard algorithm, we will, this is the 100 spot right here. So we're going to do the same thing, but kind of differently. The 3... The three can go into three, which is actually like 300, one time. So we're going to put a one up there. It's basically actually like 100, but we don't need to put the zeros. <clears throat> Just draw a line here. Show. The next step is basically subtracting what we already used. So, since we have on this side used, on this side we have given these to these. And we no longer have them, so we need to cross those out. On the same side, on this side, we make, to make sure ours is correct, we will multiply these. 1 times 3 is 3. We minus and is 0. If this number down here is greater than this number, then this needs to be up more. So, like, let's say this was a 4, and this would need to be 2, but it's not. Our next step is to bring down, basically, the 2, because this is a 0. So now we have to work with the 10s. And on this side, what it looks like is 
we have crossed these out. We don't need these because they're already used down here. And so we need to look at the tens. So the tens, there's only two tens, so they do not fit equally in three. So what we must do is um, break them down. So, h how many ones are in a ten? Of course, ten. Ten ones. So then, two tens would be equal to, basically, I'm not going to draw them out, but, twenty of those. So, twenty, and then we're going to add these together to make our twenty-one. We do the same thing on this side. And so basically 2 doesn't go into 3. It goes into it 0 times. Okay? You got that. Okay. So let's just make sure we're clear that these are used and these are used to make 20 of these. But we need to add these together to make 21 of these ones. Let's just do the step on this side first. Since we have already brought down the two, now we will bring down the one. Then the one to here. Now we have 21. Now we see how much 21 goes in 3 goes into 21, sorry. That is, I would say, in my mind, I, I know it already, that is 7. But let's say I did not put 7, and I would put 6. Then I'd do 6 times 3 equals 18. But when I subtract them, it equals 3. So 3 can still go into 3 one time. So I have to add 1 to equal our 7. But let's just put 7. There, it makes it easier to see. To double check, you just do 7 times 3 equals... Sorry, I didn't erase the bottom here. You do 7 times 3 equals 21. You minus and you equal... Zero in division um, to get the full answer, you have to go until the last digit, the last column is a zero. And so we have our answer on this side. But now let's go to the other side. Now we have 21 ones over here. Just And um, it was kind of strange how I drew it, but I drew it at that reason, this way, because um, they're in lines of three, and they're equal of seven, so then one line would go to one, and so on. So now we add seven to the pot, and we only need to look at one. So let's just cross off these. They don't matter. Well, they do when you're figuring the problem. But 100 plus 7 is equal to 107. So we have our answer. Thank you for watching the video. And now it's your turn to try. Here is a problem. Here to get you learning. Pause now to do the problem. One last thing you need to know is that some problems don't come out evenly. So let's just do three, 322, for example, divided by three. One, two, three, four, 
increase 3, minus equals 0, bring down the 2, doesn't go in, you put a 0, 0, 3, 0, minus equals 2, sorry, I just, minus equals 2, bring down 2, 2, 2, 7 is 21, minus equals 1. There's nothing to bring down from here, there's no more digits, and this number doesn't go into that number, so what do you do? Well, you have to go into, you can either say R1, which is remainder 1, or you can go into decimals, and I'll show you that. In decimals, you can just put a 0 on a number and it doesn't matter. But now, I can bring down a 0 here, and I will put a 3, because 10 is 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 3 is 9... And so, we'll put a 9 minus equals 1. Then we put another 0. We can put as many zeros as we want. It's 3. Now, since it keep it will keep repeating itself to be 1, 10, 3, blah, again and again and again, what I do is I put a line over the top to say it will keep going on this number forever. But from fractions, I know that... 0.33 is equal to one third. So you can just say 107 and a third. And a third if you would like. You don't have to. It's just another way. But thank you for watching, and I hope that you will be a great mathematician in division.